Hello and welcome to this AMSYS training video podcast. My name's John and today I'm going to take you through an introduction to pages in Mac OS X. This will be the first in a three part series detailing the iWork suite of applications including Keynote and Numbers. So what is Pages? Pages is an easy to use word processing and page layout tool designed by Apple. Prior to the Mac App Store, Pages used to come as part of the iWork package but can now be downloaded as a standalone app at just £13.99. The other great benefit to it is its compatibility with other popular document types, such as Microsoft Word documents. Let's take a look at some of the key features of Pages. When you launch Pages, the first thing that appears is the template chooser. There are over 180 Apple designed templates with the ability to also create and save your own personal document templates for the future. The templates allow you to quickly start creating new documents such as forms or reports or even newsletters, flyers or posters simply by choosing one of these pre-selected templates. And you can even quickly edit them by replacing the placeholder photos and text with your own content. For word processing, Pages is incredibly simple to get up and running with. Just start typing and you can quickly build and customise your document. To add items, such as pictures or photos, simply drag them into your document where they can be easily resized and placed. At the top of your window, you have the format bar. From here we can quickly change our font and font size, as well as choosing between bold, underlined and italic text. Just above we have icons to quickly create tables and charts. On the left hand side we have a styles drawer, where we can quickly apply pre-selected paragraph styles to our document, and also redefine styles based upon our personal preferences. On the right hand side we have the inspector pane, whereby we can further customise our document as well as find additional options for managing charts, graphics and tables to name just a few. One of the great features of Mac OS X Line is auto save and versions and both of these features have been implemented in Pages. To the top menu bar in Pages, I can quickly choose to browse all of the different versions of my document. Once loaded, I can see a timeline over on the right hand side showing me how my document has developed over time. I can go to previous versions and I can get a side by side comparison showing me how my document looked at a certain point in time. From there I can even click on one and then copy and paste my items between or if I decide that actually this is the version I prefer to work with in future I can simply click restore and then bring that document into my current window. As mentioned before, Pages is compatible with Microsoft Word documents and also allows you to save a document in a Word compatible form. By simply coming to the share menu at the top here, I can choose to export my document and again I get different options to save as a PDF, as a Word document, rich text or plain text or I can even publish as an EPUB document that can be then read in the iBook applications on your iOS device. I hope you have found this podcast informative and it has given you a brief glimpse of the built-in functionality of Pages. Obviously we've only just scratched the surface, so look out for our upcoming podcasts on both Keynote and Numbers. And remember that AMSYS Training also offer a two-day iWork09 course where not only can you learn about all the different features in Pages, Keynote and Numbers, but you also get the opportunity to put these into practice as well and actually create your own documents. If you're looking for any other information, please feel free to get in touch with AMSYS Training. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you soon.